okay guys so this month is all about just laughing just having a good laugh so narrative therapy tree of life project um i would say we're doing this but please do it from a sense of humor and today we're just going to look at an overview of it of like what it is and um the different pieces and all this different stuff and so when we look is this live hold on yes recording okay so when we look at this we'll be able to um look at why you should probably like look at it from a a point of being funny like i said me and my son we do like so many different things and so to be in a place where we get to tell stories about what's going on but i would say think of it from a comedic standpoint you don't have to like laugh at your trauma like i'm so serious be honest about it but if it's something that was just like it bothered you so much like i'm serious like some stuff my mother used to do it got on my nerves so bad but for her for them i don't know if it was funny or not but it just used to bother me so much like i told y'all i didn't learn how to how to drive until i was like 21 and so my mama sat with her friends and she was like yeah she didn't know how to drive until she was 21 and then you'll see the queen of england driving oh she's driving her own car so sometimes the stuff wasn't from my mom it would be from other people trying to control her conversation so that's all it ever was and um it would make me mad it would actually upset me so that's something that i'm looking at now and so it's like but it was funny you know what i'm talking about i didn't learn how to drive until i was 21. even though i had my i knew how to drive i didn't get my license I didn't get my license until I was 21. And so, like I said, my mom would talk about it like it was funny, but I don't think it was my mama because it was kind of, it was sad. It's just a sad thing. But then it's like compared to other people, it's not. You understand? Because like my mother didn't know that she didn't have to come all the way to Edwardsville to go take me to the grocery store. Um but she did it. You see what I'm talking about? So it's like her actions and her words don't match. She take care of me like to the best. And so she would come all the way to Edwardsville, which is like a 45 minute drive to give me groceries or to take me to the store to just pick up one or two things until I started like kind of getting other people to help me. So um, some stuff that's just like a just that's just like something that pained me um for her she'll try to make it funny and so it's like you can't make you can't make that funny you know for me you can't make it funny uh when she telling the story she would be smiling and laughing and all the different stuff or you see so Y'all make it into a movie, and you smiling and you laughing the whole time. I'm being held hostage by the queen and my mother. You know, it's always like that. So that is like, so I always say the queen, y'all. I don't know what else to call this woman. I want to say this B, but I'm not going to say anything like that right now because I'm recording on camera. But, yeah, it's just some things you probably not going to be able to make funny. It might take you a few days to think of a, fr a funny story, you know, just something to help make you laugh. But I say something that sincerely makes you laugh, that's what you should write about in this narrative project. You don't have to go back through every part of your trauma and be like, oh, God, it was just, you know, everything was so awful. Because for me, that's still awful. That's still hurtful. Um, for somebody else, who knows what they feel. So this is the document, and this will be in the magazine. I'm not going to, like, put it out there after this or whatever, 
because it's actually part of the magazine. So, um, it's like, first you'll look at the ground and it has specific questions to ask you. And then, actually, I think you start with the roots. So, but you can start wherever you want to. Then you have roots and you start with specific questions for the roots. You get to the trunk. You have specific questions for the trunk. Leaves. And then you have, and it's a writing project. It's a narrative. You can even do it on video. You don't have to write it if you don't want to. You could do, you could like answer the questions on video. It's sometimes it's great to see yourself um, doing the videos. So then you can see like your facial expressions, all this stuff. Don't make it fake. I'm saying be real. Be real with yourself. Because that's the only way that you're going to get to this point of honesty. And um, that's it. Uh, What else? Um, Branches. Then you have storms. That's your fighting one. But then you have the fruit. You know. Um. Nineteen forties look, they have like curls in the front. Let me do that. <laughs> That's the only part of my hair that actually rolls right now. It's been trained to look like the perfect curls. Okay, so that's cool. I like it. It's okay, right? It's okay. It's okay. It works. It works. I put it in a bun. I braided this bun this time so my hair doesn't like end up being like tossed out or whatever it does. Whatever it does, whenever it does it, that's what I don't want it to do. Okay, so that's it. So now, today we can just go and look at the ground. So that's why I say you can actually like record yourself if you want to. So it says your present life and day to day activities you engage in. So it's like, what is, what is the ground like in your life? Is it fairly stable or frequently changing? If you think about this, this still relates back to, I don't know if I'm doing this on the show, Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs. It also relates back to chakras. So Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs and chakras are the same thing. So this first one is just looking at Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs and asking you what it is going through each level. So even this is like Maslow's. Even this is like chakras. So basically, this is my environment. Even though it's the root, that's like for the chakras, it's the root. But right now, it's like, let's set up this environment. Let's see what this environment is like for you. So it says, what is, let's make it bigger. What is the ground like in your life? Is it fairly stable or frequently changing? It frequently, it frequently changes. It has been stable, but they are trying to change it. Uh, could represent with a flat or bumpy road. So that's it too. Like when you do this, you're drawing it too. So you're drawing it out. So I would probably give mine a bumpy road. What influences you on a daily basis? Um, and that's it. Like it's like, what is that motivation? What gives you up? What influences you on a daily basis? It's just the fact of living a life. Like it's like that's my influence, a life. So now we get to what is life. I might want to put nutrients in the ground. I might want to put um I might want to put worms and bugs and you see what I'm saying all these beetles and all this different stuff in the ground because that's something that really does inspire me. 
um or i might create a project if you're just doing this for art you might inc- like i know i made this um this cool worm um this cool worm drawing and it was like i just grew i just put them in little holes or something i got it from off of uh pinterest and i used like my favorite like sparkle type of uh watercolor i hope it wasn't stolen i think it might have been stolen with my stuff um who do you live with y'all i have to say i live with these people i don't know i live with strangers where do you go to school or work i go to work um do you have a favorite place that you visit and so that could be added too so i would do it i would draw this as a cave underground so that's it like that's the introduction and tomorrow we'll go over the next part but for right now that's it like that's it that's all um somebody was on 